Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. We all know that indigenous engine has been Achilles heel of Indian defense industry. Turbofan engine is an interesting technology. It's a combination of turbine and fan. In these engines, a gas turbine is used to generate the mechanical energy via the combustion of fuel. The mechanical energy generated by gas turbine is used by a ducted fan to force exit of air from engine. The air has to pass through turbine and combustion chamber. Input to these engine is fan thrust and output is jet thrust which pushes the aircraft forward and lifts. In fighter jets, the low bypass turbofan engines are used in which jet thrust is more than the fan thrust. This is achieved with the help of an afterburner section in the engine. The afterburner injects additional fuel into the combustor in the jet pipe behind the turbine. Therefore, it is called afterburner. At present, India is heavily relying on US for engines powering its indigenous fighter jet, be it this Mark 1, Mark 1A, upcoming fighters like this Mark 2, AMC, and ZBF. To become completely self reliant in the indigenous engine development, India should be able to develop engine which can generate thrust of 110 to 120 kilonewtons. The engine should be able to power AMCA, the upcoming fifth generation fighter jet of India. AMCA Mark II, which will be integrated with the indigenous engine, is expected to enter into production after 2035. Racing against the time, India is looking for assistance from foreign OEMs such as Rolls Royce and Safran. After the visit of UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson in April 2022, a statement was issued by British High Commission in India which said that both leaders noted cooperation in key areas of strategic collaboration including modern fighter aircraft and jet engine advanced core technology. Last year, Indian High Commission was also in London with Rolls-Royce and DRDO officials. The discussion was focused on deepening Rolls-Royce existing and planned partnership with India in aviation and defence sector. In March 2023, the officials from the Confederation of Indian Industries CII, had visited Rolls-Royce Jet Combat Manufacturing Facility in Bristol during their visit in UK in the mid of March. They had interaction with Mr. Matt Collins, Deputy National Security Advisor, on enhancing India-UK strategic cooperation. Rolls-Royce has long-standing tie-up with HL and has been manufacturing engines in India for 60 years. The company currently powers Indian Air Force Jaguar deep penetration aircraft, Hawk trainers, and C-130J Super Hercules. They are also keen to partner on the co-development of an indigenous engine for AMCA, which is speculated to be a variant of Eurojet EJ-200 with thrust of 110 220 kN. As a part of 2030 roadmap, the UK and India have agreed to work closely to support India's indigenous development of light combat aircraft LCA Mark II. The UK has already demonstrated its support by pre-approving an export license permission list for combat engine technology transfer. The two sides have committed to deepen defence cooperation as a key pillar of India-UK comprehensive strategic partnership. In an exclusive interaction with Financial Express Online, the Rolls-Royce top officials said that the firm is keen to partner with India for combat engine development with a unique co-creation model. As part of this model, the intellectual property right for the critical technology will be created and owned in India, with technology know-how and know-why resting within the country, India could further explore opportunities in the global market. India also has offers from French engine maker Safran which has developed M88-4, a high thrust class engine that can produce thrust up to 105 kN. It is also working on next generation engine that will power the 6th generation fighter jets. The commonality between both these engines is the core which is derivative of M88 engine powering Rafale fighter jets, but the thrust requirement is going to be much higher. Back in 2021, during the visit of French Defence Minister Florence Parley, the Indian Defence Minister Sujadna Singh had informed that France has agreed to make engine 
in India under strategic partnership model. He further added that such an engine is currently not even being made in France. The engine will have next generation FADEC and low IR signature. Now there have been several reports going on for years related to co-development of engines with Safran and Rolls-Royce. However, India needs to fast track the agreement finalization for engine development with the OEMs. India is decades behind when compared to China which has recently mastered the low bypass turbofan engine technology which will power its upcoming fighter jet. The delay in engine development is going to delay the MCA Mark II development and it will continue the dependency of India on foreign OEMs for its fighter jet engine. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.